What's the craziest reason you had to fire someone? We had someone fall asleep at his desk with a lit cigarette in his hand. In a office full of cubicles like maybe, 6 to 7 years ago. Smoking wasn't legal anywhere indoors let alone in an office building or mayo. And the first time he wasn't even fired. He was fired when it happened again. I worked retail and we had an employee that would hide and take naps inside racks of clothes. Somehow that wasn't the reason we fired her. We fired her for stealing clothes and then wearing them to work. Firing's done because people do not realize that the cash gets counted. They activated a gift card for $100 and keyed in $100 dollars as if someone had paid $100 for the gift card. Of course, that night the draw was $100 short and activation was on the receipt. She was already on the radar under suspicion of taking a 20 from the draw. Then $20 disappeared from another draw, but not one she had been using. Her cashier number was not on the record, except the security footage did show doing something at the register. Turns out, she memorized another employee's cashier number. Sneaky, but not sneaky enough. A firing done for other reasons. One employee was fired for pretending to ring up his friend. He could have gotten away with it. He scanned everything on price check mode, pretended to swipe his buddy's credit card, and fed a length of blank register tape out, as if a receipt were printed out. No one noticed anything off, except his buddy never asked him to do it. The cashier took it upon himself to hook him up, and at the end the friend was left thinking, what happened? He felt so guilty the next day he brought the items back and told the manager what had happened. Years ago, at a lumber company, had a guy, less than 2 hours, after he started on his first day, pick up his car with a forklift and stand underneath it to see what was rattling when he drove. CEO ordered me to fire one of my interns because he was trying to hit on one of the other interns the CEO had the hots for. Had an employee that was going to get fired for simply showing up late constantly with no legit reason. During the term meeting she tells me another employee cut the brake lines in her car, it's obvious this was to save her from being fired. She didn't realize that something like that gets cops involved. She was termed, and then detectives showed up to her house to get statements. Of course, no evidence of lines being cut, and now she's dealing with police for making false statements. My coworker at a coffee shop told a customer she didn't feel like making extra drink and she should go elsewhere. Wore cookie monster PJ pants, while we had a very strict black or khaki pants, no jeans, no leggings policy at the time couldn't figure out the concept of milk. This still baffles me to this day. Like I was trying to show her how to steam milk properly, she was off in la la land, and when she snapped back into the conversation asking, what are we doing again followed by me reminding her, and she quite literally asked what was in the gallon jug that I poured into the metal pitcher. I told her it was milk, and she just looked at me, her eyes, saying. She was there for two days. I work at an art studio, where we teach classes and sell pottery that our artists make for others to paint. I'm one of the artists and the manager. I started getting a funny feeling about one of my employees, she wasn't doing anything blatantly wrong. Just seemed to work really slowly sometimes, request insignificant but kinda odd schedule changes, and have different break habits from the other staff. I started feeling like she was stealing but this is a really small business, so I didn't have her on camera or any way to really prove it. Until she accidentally sent me a video of herself painting pieces that I made from her home. The guy had somehow hung on by the skin of his teeth when caught making plastic model funny cars at his desk. Pro tip, throwing a newspaper over the model doesn't hide the smell of the glue, but when a client called complaining about our hero trying to sell him golf clubs out of the trunk of his car, he was gone. They stole a $3 bottle of wine that could have easily put on the house check for employees. Prep cook stole a 25 pound bag of onions. I'm a chef at an upscale restaurant, the sauté cook has a lobster dish on his station. 
that involves a technique called deglazing. That involves alcohol so, in turn the pan catches on fire briefly and flames up. When you do it correctly, hard to do it incorrect, the alcohol is cooked off, and the flame goes out. Every time he made this dish he would deglaze the pan, catch it on fire, and then blow it out, blowing his own germs and nastiness all over someone's food and everything in the blast radius. That was a week ago. Fired him after he did it multiple times, after being asked not to. Maybe it's because of the current state of affairs, but I couldn't believe a trained cook would do that. In the early 2000s I managed a coffee shop that required the customers names to be put on the cup. One guy looked like he was doing it, but upon closer inspection on some cups he was writing an IPA address. Turns out he was running an illegal sports book out of the shop. He did quit before I had to technically fire him because he found out I knew. Not me but my dad. He has a small handyman company with less than a handful of employees. His tools somehow have the habit of growing legs when he's at construction sites, so he rigorously writes his name on everything with permanent marker. One day, shortly after he hired someone new, his folding ruler is missing. He asks around if anyone has seen his folding ruler, but that doesn't seem to be the case. He doesn't think much of it, sometimes things get lost. The next day he sees the new hire with a familiar looking folding ruler. He asks him to see it. New hire refuses. Dad tells him that he's his boss and insists he shows him the ruler. He complies under pressure. Sure enough, there's my dad's name on it in capital and bold letters. Now that cold have been an honest mistake and there probably wouldn't have been any repercussions if he simply said oh, my bad. Must have put the wrong one in my pocket. Here's your ruler. But the new hire insisted that this was his ruler and that the name on the side of it wasn't my dad's handwriting, but rather a note the new hire had written on it himself to remember my dad's name. I worked at a pet store and was the lead cashier, so I had to train this girl who didn't think she had to abide by the uniform because it's just store name and doesn't count as a real job. That was a warning. That despite her thinking she did need to follow the uniform rules. Then when ringing up customers she actually told customers they couldn't buy certain items. Because we were running low and she planned on getting a pet soon. And wanted these items. I apologized and rung them up. Second warning with me explaining how that's not how it works. And she could shop when she's off the clock. Finally my manager fired her when she tried to steal one of the cats that were up for adoption. After being told she needed to wait for approval, after they do a home visit, and make sure she can care for the cat. Her excuse for trying to steal the cat? Her landlord doesn't allow pets, so she wouldn't be approved, and she'd be a much better pet parent than anyone who else who wanted the cat and much better than any of the customers we got. The girl didn't even last a week. When I was working at Burger King, our restaurant manager was away on maternity leave. So we had someone from another store come in over that time to fill the role. He ended up hiring someone who had worked there 5 to 6 years previously. High turnover, so a lot of hiring slash leaving. The few staff that had known her before she left hated her, but had no idea why she left. She even passed all the checks from head office before she was hired. Restaurant manager comes back about a month after she's been hired takes one look at her, and rages. Like my RM is yelling at this girl, she's yelling at the manager that hired her, and all the crew, that had known her, when she was here last. Obviously none of us knew what was going on, but it turns out this girl hadn't left, she'd been fired, and management at the time, hadn't told anyone that, just that she'd quit. This girl had scammed back, by pretending to be pregnant, fake ultrasounds, plants, baby shower, the whole lot, and then took paid maternity leave so she could go work somewhere else because it was seasonal work with better pay with the idea of having a job for the off season to come back to. I have no idea how she got through the head office checks, but she was fired that day. Super impressive when you consider that I'm in New Zealand, so getting fired is usually a month plus long process here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.
new videos every day. Check out our playlist.